Well, yeah. just because this material has no give to it. Yeah. So crocheting into it is gonna, it's tricky it's gonna depending on what material yeah. it is. And my background's very much in architecture and I think I still, that's very much fundamental to the way I still work. But I don't do buildings anymore. And a lot of the work is really domestic. It's, it's typically activities that are in our culture seen as feminine and domestic and because they're feminine and domestic, they're not taken seriously. I really like taking the most fundamental, serious, significant forms of human expression that are dismissed and putting them in the center again and putting them in museums and taking them seriously. In the case of domestic integrities, literally putting them on a pedestal. Domestic integrities is the third and what I'm thinking of as a trilogy of projects, a trilogy of serial projects dealing with plants, animals, and people. Domestic integrities involves a big rug that travels and gets bigger, crocheted out of discarded textiles upon which are presented things that people are doing at home with what they find around them. So it's a very human interiors project, looking at how resources that immediately surround us are digested into the house and used. The center of the work is always action and activity that's actually done. It's never just a proposal and it's never just something that's depicted. It's always functioning first-hand activity in the world, in the city, with other people, in real places. It's completely fundamentally activist, yeah. I mean, the alternative to being an activist is being um, passive in the sense that you're not acting. And my work's all about acting. The work seeks to shift fundamentally the way we think about or live in our cities or in societies or in environment, whatever. I think it's a sad idea to say that you learn for four years, then you apply it for the rest of your life. Institutions of higher education, the more privileged they become, the more expensive they become, the more we put pressure on those years to be the primary education, the less meaningful education is before and after that. I'm more interested in using those four years as a way to open all the doors that you'd ever want to have open for the rest of your life, not to say all that activity has to happen in those four years. I'm interested in creating an actual structure where that's embedded in my work. It's really my own personal school where I'm the lead student and it's guided entirely by what I want to learn. So anyone else that wants to learn with me is welcome to and I invite local people to come together and focus on a specific thing. But it's always guided by something I want to learn about. I'm not a teacher to the extent that I'm there to pass on my brilliant knowledge. I'm a teacher to the extent that I can create a particular environment that's conducive to learning.